Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Cat Lady. The Cat Lady is a horror adventure game that's a sequel to the previous game in the series, Downfall. Like Downfall, it features surreal worlds, messed up people, and some supernatural elements. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. So far, we're off to a pretty good start. I think this is the type of game that's really improved by having voice acting. A downfall was just all text, but I think it would have really helped its immersion if everyone had a voice. Some kind of afterlife. Walking in fields of gold. Things that a lot of songs have been written about. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Like all good adventure games, everything must be locked. Some kind of collapsed overpass. Or it's a tunnel, anyway. Really reminds me of earthquake scenery. Let's see what's inside. It's locked. You should be used to this by now. Everything will be locked in this game. You'll have to solve a series of puzzles to go and find it. What's making that noise? Key, that is. Hello? Who's there? Answer me!
my own clone. It's me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? I look so calm. My eyes. Just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they still shine a little. Hmm. Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? I'll better take it with me. I suppose it makes sense, really. This is kind of the afterlife, and you find the key in your corpse. So it's kind of like saying, here's the key to the next world. Uh. I almost thought I died there. It... It was very much one of those situations that reminded me of old adventure games. We just get killed right off the bat somewhere like that. I always bring up uh, King's Quest. Because I think that game was pretty famous for that type of stuff. You know, I mentioned earthquakes and overpasses, but I was in the, um... It was the... I can't remember what year exactly it was. It was a Northridge earthquake. And this was a very, very familiar sight to me. It didn't scare me that much when I was that young back then. I didn't really think much of it, but, uh... Hello, spiritual quest here. Anyway, that's what I was saying. It's... Like, when I remember I took that ride that's in Universal Studios, it's like an earthquake ride. And that used to kind of scare me as a kid because it reminded me of it. Vague spiritual quest here is taking me on a journey. Hello? I'm sorry to intrude in your house, but I'm on a spiritual quest in the afterlife. The hole has been boarding up with these planks. The sign underneath says, Emergency Power Switch, Danger. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery, after all. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? I guess we'll be coming back here. I frankly wouldn't be surprised if this is one of those you don't come back here until the very end of the game things. Especially with the vague sacrifice stone heart dialogue. Lead the way, vague spiritual quest here. This place is a real scrapyard. I don't know if the cars are connected to my life, or they're just connected to other people's lives. You know, with the high amount of car fatalities. My dead body, hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel... empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that... a key? The body's too high. I can't reach. It would take me hours to untie this knot. 
Probably not. But we gotta, you know... Always complicate things. Adventure games are really just symbolism for the various things you'll have to do to get ahead in life. No matter how easy things will seem... I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Probably. No matter how easy things will seem, you'll always have to find another key for that door. <gasps> what a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck in the bars. It's locked. Was there dead animals and downfall? Could have been. It's been a while since I played it. Spiritual Quest Deer has failed me. I now leave everything to you, Spiritual Quest Raven. This is the price of, for failure. That spiritual quest here had to suffer. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? So you see, to untie a simple rope, we had to get lost in a forest, follow a raven, which led us to a dead, torn up, hanged deer, and to get a knife to cut this rope. To cut the rope that has a key on my dead body. I think it'd be fun explaining that to someone, the context of this. So what are you playing, son? Oh, I'm just playing some kind of game where I just died and I'm exploring the afterlife and I find my dead bodies with keys on them. Oh! I look like I'm just sleeping. Empty. I'm not sure why there's so many copies of my body. Maybe each one's an attempt at suicide I did. Well, no, the first one's my body after I actually did die. This one maybe was attempted suicide from hanging didn't work out. Or... It just represents that I did commit suicide. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But, I'm curious, who do you think I am? Closest thing is death, I think. If, I'm assuming that's the lady the man gets. Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps. That's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom. But I'm salvation, too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not deaf? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? 
What is this place? What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom, and this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. What is this place is a question I would never ask in my dreams when I encounter something like this. It's usually not too important in the grand scheme of things. What will happen next? It depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. A lonely seashore. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. Are you really going to turn me just randomly touching your paintings that will probably lead me to some kind of astral world? And then some kind of deep spiritual thing about me lying? Being a compulsive liar, rather? Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You would be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Hmm. It was kind of mean, actually. The only friend in the whole world. Is there anyone else here? <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone. And it will never, ever come again. 
Hmm. I don't really like this answer, but I'm going to answer it anyway. I'm curious. I have no reason to live. Please, just let me go. I tried. I really did. But it's never going to be okay. Who knows? Maybe. But one way or the other. This isn't the end of your story. It's only the beginning, my dear. And there are great things waiting for you. Believe me. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? They're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you, only in a slightly different way. So you want me to extinguish their flames, you're saying? I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. I can't quite pin down what the Queen of Maggots is. I guess she might not be deaf herself, but some kind of godlike being. Those five people, who are they? The Parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know, but you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life, and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But... 
How will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. This probably means people like, uh, my past, uh, Protag. I forgot his name, I can't remember if it was John or Dave or something. I have to replay the game again a bit. But, he was that kind of type, I guess. When you found out the twist at the end and what he actually did. He was also kind of connected to the spiritual worlds, so I think... All those types of people are really the ones we're hunting down. What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan. You don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. Are you expecting me to kill them. No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference and the chance to save yourself. If she's some kind of shepherd of death, not death, but some kind of being connected to it anyway, then I could see maybe these people are uh, kind of disrupting that cycle. I can't do this. It's too much. Killing too much, per se. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. You can't do that. You gotta follow our laws. You're doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I or want fields. to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Uh. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. 
Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. Crowbar. Stuck in the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. Crucified, all alone. One place has changed it all. I really don't want to be here. Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. You underestimate this fool. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake. And I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool! You damned arrogant fool! You have no idea what you have just done! But fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. Looks like I won't be losing my way. Yeah, don't laugh too hard, old woman. You might break something. When we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. I'm back in the house. Candles. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. I shouldn't touch these. I know what they do. Ah, oh, maggots. I can't get through these. What the hell are they, anyway? Hmm. Strange. The flames seem strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Hmm. This is, I guess this is the part where I might regret talking shit to her, but uh, I think I'll be fine. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. That was interesting. Maggots are gone. Should I blow out the rest of the candles? <sighs> Decisions. 
think that's enough for now. I suppose each candle unlocks a new chapter. A bit like a Mega Man thing. What the? How did I get back here? And I guess I gotta take this crowbar back to that uh, place and pull off those uh, planks. Crowbar. Uh, there's some blood in there. Someone give me a hand! I'm bleeding! That's one way to start a machine. <laughs> So that's it for the Cat Lady, part one. I'd say the Cat Lady is really cool. And especially in comparison to Downfall. Downfall, I like Downfall, but it had these kind of slow pacing moments where a game was just going down the very adventure game tropes. This one has a pretty good pace and has a pretty good way of building suspense and foreshadowing things and things like that. Downfall had you wander around picking up toast and thinking you can cut open cats and things like that. They were like parody things, but despite parodying adventure games, it pretty much had all the tropes there. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for part two of The Cat Lady.